Thank you. Do you have any like pre-rave rituals that get you hyped for a set? I kind of, not, sort of like just have like maybe a drink, hang out with friends like next to the stage. And I don't know, since I was like a little kid performing, I just go like, here goes nothing, then I hit play and that's it. Oh, I love that, I love that. Easy slay on. I'm with Slay, he absolutely smashed his set. See this one, huh? This one naughty, naughty, and this one bad for the velo, and this one go when I'm surely. Yeah. It's a big one, this one fire, this one peng like Kim and Carney. This one loud, this one turn up, this one wavy, this one saucy. Hey, hey, this one high, high. this one naughty, naughty, and this one bad for the velo, and this one go when I'm surely. Yeah. It's a big one, this one fire, this one peng like Kim and Carney. This one loud, this one turn up, this one wavy, this one saucy. What do you do to mentally prepare yourself for a set? Like any, like, Normally, I take Take a poo. Release that energy. I'm only joking. <laughs> a little nervous poo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, nah, I don't do any of that. I just get on the stage and do it. Once I'm on the stage, you have to do it, innit? So, Is there no, no little dance moves? Nah, not really. No, no, no. Yo, to be honest, I'm quiet pretty much before I go on. Okay. Then when I'm on, that's when the dance moves. Do you do any of this, like? Ah. <laughs> um, mm, mm. uh, I'm joined by the lovely Veridity and Stacey, who are part of the Women in Drum and Bass Mentorship Scheme. How are you both today? I'm good, a bit hungover, but I'm good. Hey. <laughs> what about you? I'm doing well. Um, I didn't get much sleep, but it was worth it. It was worth it. Look across the landscape as the light fades. Shades of red blend away into a lost trace. Follow the shimmer as it warps the colours. An impressionist blend like no other. Unique life giving a missing link. And I've been asking all the artists, have you got any like moves you do to warm yourself up, get you in the zone? I do affirmations. Ooh, can um, we hear one? Um, okay. I'm going to blow these people away. I'm going to take them on a journey of drum and bass that they've never experienced before. I'm here as a conjoint of the universe. Those kind of things. <laughs> Amen to that. Amen to that. I love that one. And have you got anything? Do you do any moves? Say anything? You know, pump it out. Get your hands ready to DJ. I have a fat nap. Have a morning coffee, and, and off I go. That's it. My life. Step out the world and face. Don't know how to behave. These men wanna get brave. Send me your location to come Dave. I be your guy for the spot team. Kicking up the door like say it's a rave. Them man know it goes. I rep the O. Yeah, that's the way. Told the man them keep it music. None of these men wanna end up in graves. Blow that loud in the air. And I'm always giving them waves. We got the right with the elements. I'm the right with the pride with flames. And these men just want cool. Ragga Twins absolutely smashed their set with Groove Rider. Have you got any pre-rave rituals that you do to get ready for a set? It can be as weird and wonderful as you want. Like a move, a mantra, anything. Nah, not really. I used to come on the stage and do a little sign of the cross. And, uh, you know what I mean? But nah, not really. We just go on there, bracket up, go on. Absolutely, shell it. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Is this guy on national television? Yeah. 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 I smoke weed. <laughs> Have you got any weird like pre-rave rituals you do before a set? Like any movements, any sayings? to get you calm and ready to DJ. I'm way too cool for that kind of nonsense. Oh, you just come up and you're just like, woo! Fair enough. Of the main stage empire. I don't really have like a pre rave ritual aside from really warming up my voice. 
But what I like to do before my set, specifically if someone's playing before me, if we've got like back in the UK, like local artists, yeah. to go to the, the event like maybe two or three hours early and just watch people and just watch new people that I've never seen before and just like get inspiration from them before jumping on. It just makes me feel a lot more comfortable. So basically just to support the support acts, I guess. Yeah, assess the whole scene, make some new friends. I see you've got a bromance with Winey. Tell us a bit about that. Winey, one of my best friends in this game, man. I've been lucky to tour with him around the world and I think he's absolutely smashing it. He's, he's almost like reinventing his sound again and again and again. So I'm super happy for him and watching him work with P-Money, it's going to be absolutely incredible. How are we doing, guys? How are we doing, guys? You can have a picture. You can have a picture. Oh, you're a bad man. You're all right. He's famous, guys. He's, famous, guys. he's a drum and bass fucking all-star. We'll be back in a minute. Do you have any pre-rave rituals that you do before your set to like calm you down or get you hyped up? Any saying? No, no, never. Do you just never. walk on? Never. I, I'm a very spontaneous, you know. Um, I, d I never know what I'm gonna play. Yeah. Because I don't know what people want to hear. Yeah. So I want to surprise them and surprise myself. I like that. So when when I play a certain track and I got really nice response. I can move, dance, and yeah. you know it's it's always spontaneous. Yeah. My I I work like that. You should yeah. change your always. name to DJ Spontaneous then. No, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say that. Not really rituals, but I have my pre-rave panic that I don't have my USB, and I just check. Like I'll be on the motorway, and I know for a fact that I've got it. And I'm on the motorway, and I pull into the hard shoulder. I'm like risking my life to get to the back. Like it's still in there, it's still in there. No, no, it's there, it's there. It's right, get back in. But the missus is like, what are you doing? It's like, you check my USB. She's like, you checked it seven times. I'm like, yeah, no, no, but I just, I know it's there now. That's it. Minus, I pretty much drive four hours to get anywhere, so I've got enough time to suss it before I get to the rave. Do you know what okay, I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I don't really have no choice. I live so far away from yeah. all the raves. So. Like, if it's three hour journey, no, you gotta leave four hours. That's the rule. Okay. That's my two things, that's it. Oh, never be late for a, for a gig. I'm with Born and Road, I'm with Aries, Kelvin and Spider. I was gonna say you smashed that set, but you did more than that. You literally blew my bravest socks off. I just need to check if my socks are there. They're still there. That was unreal. Now I hear you're playing at Weekend in the Woods. What can we expect from that? Pure jungle drum and bass. It's gonna be a sick one. We're, we're, we're dealing with a stage and there's, there's a like, yeah, it's going to be sick. I'm very excited. How are you feeling about that? Very excited. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's going to be sick, man. We've got an absolutely wicked lineup, stacked with all our friends and family. We're running it with Run, the other crew from Bristol. So yeah, it's always a madness when we link up. And I wanted to ask you, have you got any pre-rave rituals? It can be as weird as wonderful as you want. I know you've got one. you got one. I roll a big fat spliff. What about you, Spider? No, I haven't really got no, no, no ritual. I'm just nervous. Right. I'm always nervous before I set. Shall I show you mine? What's that? What's that? Okay, you can all join in, right? I go oosh, oosh, oosh. Come and do it. Oosh, oosh, oosh. <laughs> 